Hello and welcome uh, to another Gotham Sound TV quarantine edition. Um, I am here with Gabriel Antonini. Uh, Gabriel, say hello. Hello, everyone. How are you out there? Um, hi. It is good to see you, Gabriel. Gabriel, yeah. you, you are with DPA Microphones. Yes. And, um, you know, before we get started, uh, let me just ask you... Um, how 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 is quarantine treating you? How is how is COVID for you? What what's going on in your world? Well, we're we're sort of all locked down here at home. I'm in um, I'm I'm in between Manhattan and Philadelphia in the country a uh, place called Bucks County, Pennsylvania. Mm -hmm. and, um, so we're we're all here, and I'm getting to see more of my children and my family than I ever did, and we're sort of reconnecting again and cooking every night and you know watching movies together and walking and hiking and you know what whatever we can get away with locally. But, you know, all in all, it seems to be, um, you know, a time where social media is truly being used for that reason to be social. Yeah. And, and I, th I think also in reconnecting, you know, being yeah. at home is really, um, it's been sure. amazing. Um, yeah. yeah. You know, I alternate between this uh, pressure to be productive and to just, you know, slow down and, yeah, it's it's uh, yeah, and I agree. It's social media has taken on, um, you know, it, after uh, I don't want to get too political, but after so many years of it yeah. being used for sort of questionably nefarious political purposes, it's nice yeah. where people are connecting. It's nice to see musicians. Yeah, yeah, it's it's become more you utilitarian in, in my uh, in my opinion. It's become something that is like turning on the lights. It's like that's the way we're connecting, and who knows, you know, who knows where we go from here. And, and what kind of life is this is going to take in, in the next phase of, of production of social, you know, it's great. Cause I can, I'm getting better at playing my drums and my guitar. Cause I got a little more time, but I also can check in on my parents who, who I can't see right now cause they're older. Um, so it has all of a sudden this sort of lifeline aspect to it. And I'm, I'm one to believe that, you know, uh, we'll come out of this stronger and, and whatever, whatever this was or is will be, uh, behind us, but I think we'll, we'll take some of the traits and some of the habits that we're now acquiring with us. I think it's, and I think especially in production, I have my own opinions, but yeah. Yeah. I mean, speaking of production, um, how, uh, have you been in, in, how is the factory doing and, and you know, what, uh, what, are, what are they, uh, doing? Are they still working? Well, Denmark in general, I think, is a little bit ahead of on being on the good side of the curve of this whole thing. So I think they're a little bit, you know, maybe a, maybe a week or two ahead of us. And that's optimistic for us to know that if the rest of the world's getting better, then we're slowly getting better. And I also heard today that Texas and Vermont have started to advance um, sort of getting back to work. The factory is still open in Denmark. Um, they, they obviously do some certain shifts and some certain... Uh, you know, methods in order to keep people distanced and, and sort of in shifts. But, you know, we, we uh, uh, the, everyone who's in the company in the main office has been working from home, obviously. And, you know, we have people in Asia, we have people in Europe, we have people in the U.S., uh, all over the world. So it's uh, it's been interesting, but it's also been very tight knit. I mean, there's a lot of great information. It's a fantastic company. The same the same. Uh, uh, passion they put into making great products is is also the way they've been treating the people too. So it's it's been I, great. I yeah, I definitely agree. I got to see some of that um, firsthand at the. Uh, I visited the factory and it was really oh. um, it was really it was really amazing. It really is like a family there. Um, I have a question about um, the post COVID sort of hygiene practices and microphones. Um, or when I say post-COVID, when, you know, that period of time when we can gather and start to use microphones again. Um, are there any recommendations coming f uh, coming out of the factory or, or have you noticed anything in terms of cleaning well, grills and windscreens? Yeah, well, there's a really, really great video out there that my coworker Bo did uh, a couple of weeks ago. Because we've been doing, and I should say that I've been doing a lot of Facebook Live events. I'm doing one tomorrow and one on Thursday with different end users, which has been really great for our audience and all, all the engineers who would be too busy to, to watch a Facebook right now that are all home. Um, but my coworker, Bo, and, uh, and actually another coworker, Paul, they're doing these sort of 
uh, instructional videos. And Bo did one on hygiene for the microphones. That's great and really shows how to clean the Omnis. You know, the Omnis actually, you know, you, you can clean them in distilled. You can immerse them in water. And, and, and we have the IP58 rating. So we're great with all that. But distilled water, washing the grills, letting them dry for 72 hours is the recommend, recommended time. Cleaning the grills of the de facto's and the handheld vocal microphones. Uh, and if you want, I could actually provide you a link uh, when we're done this that goes directly to the hygiene for the microphones. Yeah, we'd love that. We'll put it in the comments. And speaking of yeah. comments, if anybody has any uh, comments, I'm keeping yeah. an eye on the screen and, and welcome to our Facebook uh, viewers. And it, yeah, and it's a little different from the directional to the Omni microphones as far as the cleaning practices. And uh, I couldn't say it as good as Bo did. So I, I, I think I'll just send you that link. And uh, it's really step by step on how to keep them clean and in the future how to keep them clean because – you know, especially the rental houses, you're, you're, you're using these microphones, uh, you know, every night with different artists and it should, it should be part of the regiment going forward. I just think it's taking a percentage of the germ factor out of the equation and our microphones are robust enough to, to really be cleaned and they're mostly modular. So you can take them apart and clean, clean the parts separately, let them dry and, uh, and put them all back together again. You're back in business. And um, have you heard any protocols involving uh, UVC light or heating them? Uh, we spoke to Carl Winkler, and he was talking about 150 degrees for a certain amount of time has been shown to kill that. Yeah, there's a certain there's one one aspect on the uh, on this uh, link that I'm going to send you that actually talks about baking mm -hmm. uh, a few of the products. And I don't want to don't want to jump uh, jump the gun and tell you misinformation, but I'm going to actually fair, while, we're, fair. while we're doing this, I'm going to actually look it up and send it to you. I'll put it up on this link. Oh, yeah. that's cool. Okay, good. Why not? Uh, yeah. that, that'd be awesome. Um, you know, I, I kind of thought um, this is NAB time. And so, you know, here we, we kind of felt like, well, maybe we could, um, uh, you know, have like a little trade show. If you, you want to show products, that's great. We'll take a look at them. Um, I also feel like it's fine if you just want to chat. Um, I love the fact that there's all these musical instruments in the background and I see all yeah. kinds of DPA microphones in the background. Um, yes, that's awesome. Yeah, that's one good thing about being at home. It's like I would be on the road showing these, doing demos and doing university things. But uh, having them here, I'm like, well, I got to use them. And actually, right now, I'm actually using a, uh, a DM6000, you know, with mm. a 4098. This is, this is made to be mounted to ceilings for like medical simulation or conference rooms, as well as being a table, nice tabletop. And the 4098 gets utilized in many different products. Um, it's actually the same capsule that's in our new choir mic um, as well, the 4097. That Yeah, it's cool. It's it's uh, it's directional. I can hear that. Uh, the super cardioid, yep. yeah. Yeah, uh, but you get a sense of the room, and um, yeah, and it looks it looks cool too. Yeah, and how, you know, we, go, ahead, go ahead. Oh, sorry. How are you going into the computer, just out of curiosity? I'm going into the computer. That's actually, you, 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 that's the next thing I wanted to talk about looking for your email address, but it's sort of like a vital cog right now. It's something, a really high quality product that we made um, a few years ago. It's called the MMA mm -hmm. dash A. And basically it is a um, two channel A to D converter with 114 decibels of dynamic range. So any DPA microphone that goes into this, this dynamic range is, is wider. So there's no compromise in quality. DPA quality, um, it can go above uh, 24 bit, 96 kilohertz. You know, mm -hmm. it's very, very open. It's a core tech, it's a, a core audio. So basically it'll mount on your PC, your laptop, your, your Windows machine or, or your, uh, your Mac. It'll work with an iPhone. Um, yeah, very yeah. cool. So we're very making cool. phantom power from your iPhone. Don't ask me how they're doing that. Um, but it, it, it's really cool because once you have this, I sort of consider it a vital cog, you know, there's two mics in here. They're the microdot connection that we're known for. And for instance, you know, let's just go to run down some scenarios that, that I was thinking about before the call. So if you're broadcasting, there's plenty of apps out there. One that comes to mind is like reported IT enterprise mm -hmm. where you could, we have a couple guys at home broadcasting the weather into major, major uh, networks. And basically using this with like a DPA headset, and um, going right in, right into the iPhone with the app opened up, you just select this as the audio engine and away you go. Now you're using a DPA lav or headset, you know, like uh, the new the new 6060 
you know, which is a great, is a great choice to use as a headset. So we can use any of our headsets. It's great. Anything with a, with a, that micro dot, that uh, locking connector. Exactly. And also, you know, for guys that want to maybe take the downtime and walk on the beach and walk in the forest and collect cues for their next Broadway play or film, you can use the new 4560 uh, binaural headset. So, you know, why not? It so, has been quiet out there. Yeah. So just, just put this around your ears. The microphones will sit in your ears. Two micro dot connectors, one marked left and one marked right, right into this guy into your iPhone and you're walking around. And if you get a, a third party app, like something like something I like to use is an app called Filmic Pro, which does 4K video and up to 24 bit, 96 kilohertz audio. So now you got this and you got 4K video, buy a little cheap tripod somewhere for your iPhone. And you're getting, you're getting very high quality uh, sound and video. And you're collecting these great cues for whatever, or if there's people that can't leave home, disabled people, people in the hospital, people that are sick, you can bring them the beach or you can bring them whatever. Um, you know, running down the list too, if you have ADR in film where you're doing, you know, we had a call from a very prominent company last weekend, won't name names, but they were like, hey, we're in a bind. We're, we're, doing, um, we're doing translation for a few films we're working on. The mm -hmm. actors are stuck at home. We're, we're here at our little studios at home. So boom. You send them this, you send them a, a 6060 LAV, which is going to be tremendous sounding. And if you want to, you can also get these little cables that are active cables that are called MMP-G, which terminated Microdot. Mm -hmm. And for instance, on this one right now, I have our flagship 4011 capsule. I'm unscrewing it. The modularity really plays in. It's very slick. Yeah. Right. So now I've got this. Let's just say I want to use a shotgun. I could put our 4017 shotgun on here, plug it into my iPhone. And then the other channel, I could put a body worn mic. And then I could sort of do a little training video, send it to this actor who's doing all this or like a tabletop like this mm -hmm. or a headset and put it on there and actually send them the video that they're replacing the dialogue from. And Filmic yeah. Pro might be a good way to do that. And, and boom, there you go. You got sort of a really sort of a backyard solution, but as high quality as the film. Super, super high end, super high end. It's, so, it's really great. Yeah. It's, um, I, I uh, teach part time and, um, you know, teaching students how to use the iPhone as a cinema device. Yeah. Um, just because it's what they have when they're in quarantine. They're all kicked out of the NYU dorms. Yeah. Um, it's been really great. And that's, um, that DPA is a very, very slick. What, what, what do you call the puck? Well, the puck is actually called an MMA or a Danish hockey puck, like I call it though. But it's, uh -huh. a, it's an MMA-A is, is the proper name. Um, and this is an older one. This had a different name, but we changed that name for, for, for reasons um, that I won't go into now. Uh -huh. but, uh, and also, you know, just, just to let you know, you can buy extension microdot cables and then you could use the 4099. Yes. So you could really like put two overhead drum mics or you can go to the symphony or, or, or maybe you're having um, social distancing and you've got a quartet playing. You can get two 4011s. And here's something that's really cool, Peter, um, something that I, a, a DPA part that I love, uh, which is an ORTF huh. yeah. and XY simultaneously. So these little huh. cutouts, believe it or not, so you can do something like, and this is for the music lovers. If you want to go to the church or catch the choir or or if they're doing a, a club performance and you want to broadcast it, you know, uh, through the web, well, you, you get this little guy and you can you can angle it and you could then put the two DPA capsules on the right way, you know, onto it, plug it into your iPhone or laptop, launch Pro Tools if you want or whatever, or just record locally. And now you have the correct spacing for ORTF at 110 degrees. And you can place this anywhere you like and get a really beautiful stereo image because the DPA app that comes with this guy uh -huh. is either dual mono, stereo linked, or, or summed. So if you want both both channels on both channels of recording, mm -hmm. you would sum it for a backup. But if not, you could do stereo right into it and you're getting a beautiful file. And the DPA, um, DPA app, is that how you would control gain? 
as well? Yes, the DPA app, I can actually probably show you what it looks like right here on my phone. So that's sort of what the DPA app looks like. Can you guys see that? Yeah, that is uh, visible, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, got it. We got a sense of it anyways. Yeah, that's yeah, So you got four presets. You have a uh, high-pass filtering. You have a lock. So mm -hmm. this will work in the background. Let's just say you have, let's just say, I don't know, for instance, you have a church. I have a, Right now I've got a pastor, local pastor. And this is sort of getting really big quickly that are that are getting these guys, the you know, the MMA. They're getting maybe a headset and or maybe an Omni Lavalier. And they're doing the worship team at home. We got one guy who's got a worship team, his whole family's in the band. So he's playing piano, he's got a headset, and the whole the rest of the family's holding a miniature microphone, and they're doing worship. And then the pastor is using a tripod by a company called Iographer. I hope I can mention that. It's a sort of inexpensive sure, uh, yeah. tripod with an iPhone holder. Uh huh. And they're basically doing this with an if you get another phone holder, this will fit very nicely into the phone holder. So in fact, I could show it to you. You want to see it? Sure. All right, cool. Yeah. If you hear anything fall down, that's not good, but okay, here we go. So this guy here is uh, holds the iPhone. You can see the iPhone will fit in there. I've actually modified a couple uh... of my mounts so I could do little booms with 4098. But in here, I'll just mount the MMA. Uh, yeah, there you go. That's right? amazing. Perfect. Wow. Then, so I've got a, I've got a tripod. I'm using 4k video. I'm, I'm getting 2496 audio. I'm using directionals and omnis. And I think the future of production, you know, because of what's going on and actually I think it's going to stick around. We may see less microphones for productions. I, I, I agree. I think, um, you know, I've been concentrating a lot on, uh, the world between when 25 or more people can gather and when there's a vaccine developed. Exactly. And um, I think that rather than think of this as a time between the, well, rather than think of this as an abnormal time, I just think that we're between pandemics and that this is a new normal. Yeah. I mean, honestly, I, I, I think for both of our companies and, and for our, my psycho psychological well being, to sort of think of this as a new normal, um, is, is a reality, I, I think. And so, yeah, I mean, I think all those tools that you're showing, yeah. and I love the fact that, you know, not all of them are DPA, of course. Yeah, um, oh yeah, I mean, you know, whatever we're, I mean, what we're bringing to the table is, is I mean, we've got microphones that go from three millimeters, you know, all the way up to 19 millimeters, and they mm -hmm. all could be used with this. Yeah, yeah, so you, and you that's, put, uh, just to, sorry, just to clarify, that's, um, that device is, uh, Lightning and and USB for a computer, but yes. and Android users um, are not able to play. Is that right? Yeah. Yes. Yes. I that that is our stance on that, and I believe it's because of something that's a, that's a, just about the fact that we need to be able to guarantee that the DPA microphone will go through the pipeline and come out the other end. Totally like understand. That. Totally yeah. understood. Yeah. You don't have to be a developer to know that Android's a weird ecosystem. It's more of a, it's more of a sort of a, what's the word? Um, not, it's not, it's like, it's like an IP address versus a static IP address. Uh -huh. You know, when you know it's static, you know, it's always there and it's always the same where, where, where it's not, uh, can't think of the word right uh, now. The Wild West has that. <laughs> I yeah. You're like riding, riding on horses and drinking whiskey and not knowing right. what to do that. <laughs> right. Something like that. But it, it's, I, you know, I, I don't know if there'll, there'll be a time when, when, when that does happen. I hope it does because it's just more users. But I guess we're, we're dependent on the, the phone technology and the platform. So, I mean, uh, we took a long time developing this guy, even even with Apple. I mean, an Apple Apple and DPA, they, they are two companies, I think, that both have high quality in mind. Yes. And so uh, it's, it's, it's turned out like from day one to just be a very, very good thing. But you can also, you can use it on your Windows machine, your laptop. You could use it. I'm actually experimenting with doing a couple really tricky things with these. I'll let you know if it works. <laughs> and then uh, if it please, does, please do. We should do a yeah. follow-up video. I'd love to do yeah, that. That would be cool. That would be really cool. Are you, you know, live? Are you live streaming with, uh, like, live streaming as a musical performance with any of those tools? Yeah, we've been doing some stuff. We're a little bit slave to some of the the Skype connections, but what we're doing is we're offering the final files after the performance. Like, for instance, tomorrow we're doing. Um, a friend that works at Meyer Sound and also is a house of worship engineer. Last week we did Brad Maddox 
and Eddie Kaipo from Gwen Stefani and then Brad mixed Rush for 16 years. Um, so we did some live stuff that they played back and then we're getting them in a Dropbox and offering them to anyone who was part of the Facebook event. This Thursday at two o'clock, we have Brad, Brad, uh, excuse me, Bill Evans, the sax player. Yeah. With his engineer, Richard Lettner, who is from Austria. And we're going to have fun with them. And then maybe in the middle, Bill's in his, in his attic, uh, in his uh, garage office, and he's probably going to pull out his saxophone and play a little bit for us through his 4099 through this guy. So, yeah, yeah. And, just, and if the, you know, if the Skype connection screws up or, or it doesn't come across the way we want it to, we just we just get the files and put them up on Dropbox and say, well, here here's what it sounded like, you know. And that's so, a yeah. it's a really smart idea. Um, yeah. yeah, I love the idea of of, of helping um, you know offering the the final product as a recorded in a recorded form. Yeah, um, we in all a high quality sit, form. We can't sit around saying you know oh well the the connection was a little weird and hey mm -hmm. there's so many people on the internet right now. And yeah. if I'm sitting home and I and I happen to get that window where the connection's really good and I can hear Bill Evans blow some sax, great. If it gets stepped on somehow, we got the files. Yeah, no, I I, I agree. It's been um, yeah. incredibly gratifying. I've been um, working with a musician, Ike Riley, who uh, has oh. been doing every two weeks um, uh, a live stream, and uh, yeah, sort of figuring out all the different dynamics involved in streaming that stuff. Um, it is disappointing about Facebook's uh, throttling of, of audio quality. That's the one thing that's a bummer. We had a we had a vocalist on the other day who the guy who did the voice for Freddie Mercury in uh, in the movie I forget what the new movie title was uh, Mark Martell I think his name is and he did a live stream from his home and he was using this guy and he was using um, he was using this guy and he was using the forty ninety nine and I think he had a lav on. And it was amazing. It was, it was amazing what was coming across because it's just so beautiful to know that, you know, you can get that kind of clarity without even seeing microphones hardly through, through the internet or through the iPhone. That's really key. That's yeah. Key. Yeah. 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 And the, so, and the connect, you know, the connection that you make with people. Uh, through well, well, yeah, that, that's the point I was trying to make is that he, he broadcasted on Facebook and, and YouTube at the same time. Mm -hmm. And they're all great platforms. The fact that we could see and hear each other is fantastic, but we were going back and forth night and day. And, and there's some options in the face, Facebook world that was, that was really cool, but the audio quality was not as yeah. good. Yeah. YouTube it's it's disappointing. I'm just going to look over and see if there's any uh, questions or comments. Um, I know we've been yakking a lot about That's fine. to music, um, but um, is there any, uh, is there any dialogue specific um, stuff do you want to talk about bef before we uh, before we go or any other any shotgun mics or um, I mean, well, I think we're familiar with so many of your products and the high qu and their high quality. I really well, just enjoy talking about this. stuff. sorry. I'll stop talking over. No, you. no, you can talk all you want. I, mean, I, lo I love I love these microphones. I love this company. And, and the fact that I work for them is just it fits who I am and, and what I like to stand for. Um, and, you know, it's funny that this little guy was was made. Um, when the current situation really wasn't happening. We did this so that you can have a very small footprint. Like I remember the, one of the first sales that were made with this guy was at Skywalker Ranch. Hmm. So these guys are carrying bags of audio gear out to the desert and they may still be doing that, but I know they were using these as well. So a, a cool thing about this is that I called it a vital cog you know, which I think is a really good name for it because you can get extension cables. Our cables can run long distances. They're, 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 they're not going to pick up radio stations. They're, That's they're not huge. Get, they're not going to get, uh, you know, um, humidity, uh, you know, they're not going to get, get you know, go into like, you know, over, you know, into sort of like a noisy situations. They're, they're robust. They have, they're Kevlar reinforced. They're small, they're light, the core technology on all the microphones has let us push the dynamics six to 14 decibels higher. Hmm. So the mic that like, for instance, like the mic that we used to love, like the 4060 is now, you know, has now got a higher dynamic range and also has an IP 58 rating. So just keep improving and keep going, going uh, down that direction. And the fact that you could utilize every one of our mics, maybe except for the handheld vocal mics with this into your iPhone, it's almost like, they created it for 
uh, for what we're seeing now in the times that we're in where we, we intelligibility is everything. If we can't understand each other, um, you know, everybody is going here. Here's, here's the takeaway from today. Everybody's still going to need a microphone even more now because, you know, tomorrow's production world and tomorrow's meetings are all going to be looking a little different, but we're going to need to make sure that intelligibility is there, that the consonants are understood. The same thing we bring to the film community and Broadway community is now in your next conference or your next music or your EDR session. And, you know, immersive, you know, uh, church meetings, dialogue replacement, live stereo music broadcasting with some of these nifty apps like report it that's out there this fits the bill for all of them yeah uh, it's it's huge are those um are those readily available are they're they're uh in stock yeah i bet you they're baking a lot right now i mean it's something (laughs) it's something that that moved but didn't fly off the shelf right um it was sort of like that niche product that people said you know what that's really cool i could use it for this now people are like nobody can understand me i'm on a call with my whole company all over the world and I'm, my voice is mumbled, you know? So now it's starting to spread around. Whereas, you know, the pr- production guys, as well as just somebody who wants to get on a clean go to meeting or, or a uh, Skype meeting or zoom meeting, which we're on now, mm-hmm. it's, it's sort of the way to clean up that audio because we see the picture with our eyes, but if we're not getting the information we need, the picture doesn't matter how good quality the picture is. Uh, amen. Amen yeah. to that. Um, I, I think uh, if nobody has any questions, we should leave it. Um, we should leave it there. Yes. Well, uh, please have me back on. I will send you a link to, by the way, real quick, what yeah, is yeah. your email address? I know I have it, but just give it to me real quick and I'm going to put it in here right now. Sure. Uh, I, I don't mind giving you my, uh, the whole world, right. yeah, that's right. Uh, Peter S at gothamsound.com. Uh, peters at gothamsound.com but um you send it to me and we'll put it up on the on the i'm going to send it to you as soon as we hang up and you'll have it and it's a really cool video about how to clean our mics and how to keep them nice out of harm's way i i definitely look forward to that gabriel thank you so much um and thanks thanks to everybody at dpa thanks to everybody watching um oh and scott far thank you scott far already put the link up um in the facebook comments thank you scott thank you scott Um, let me just make sure there's no, yeah, there are no other questions. I, I should also say that, you know, we love you guys at Gotham. You know, you guys have been around for a long time and you do high quality stuff and you're in a, you're in a city where, you know, the production just is nonstop. And I know you guys are going through a lot right now, like everybody is and um, have faith, you know, take care of the people you love and, and, uh, and, and you know, keep, keep, uh, keep up the great work, man. Thanks for having me on. Thank you so much. Thanks to everybody watching. Everybody stay safe. Be well.